Temperatures have climbed back above freezing today. These past two days are an early reminder of what could come our way during the winter months ahead. And firefighters are making sure that they're prepared for those challenges of the freezing temperatures and all that it can bring. WLWT meteorologist Adam Berniston is here now to show us what all of that entails. Hi, Adam. Yeah, hey, Mike and Ashley, just this morning, the Cool Rain Fire Department was responding to a call for a house fire. When they got to the scene, one of the fire hydrants wasn't working because a water main ruptured due to the cold weather. Fortunately, another hydrant was close by, but this can have devastating results when minutes matter battling a fire. While fire hydrant checks are routine throughout the year, Fairfield firefighters are especially observant in the winter when even a small leak can cause big issues. A big key thing is knowing your district, whether or not you're going to have enough time to move the line to the next available hydrant, or if you need to notify command and say, hey, I need the next truck coming in to tag the next hydrant and bring me the hose so I can attach and get water fighting appropriately. Along with hydrants, firefighter Brendan McCarty says their trucks are just as important. Running the pumps, checking to make sure that there's no uh, no issues there, uh, but we can make sure the water is circulating appropriately. Like I said, if we're going to be if the truck's going to be stationary for a little while, or maybe if it's just not being used right in that moment. And just Ants. like in the summertime, when temperatures run too over. hot, in the winter, firefighters have to keep their own safety in mind, Socks, too, sure packing go there. bags with extra clothes and having other ways to get warm. We'll call for mutual aid so we have more bodies on the scene. We make arrangements to have buses brought to the scene to allow guys to at least get out of the elements. Fairfield firefighters also have special equipment on hand as well, including a rapid deployment craft and full body insulated suits for cold or station. ice water rescue. You can throw this on. Uh, it's got the attached booties, your gloves, and everything that you need to be able to get into the water or get in either into the water or at least across the pond safely. Now for homeowners, McCarty says to make sure your furnace is checked to make sure it's running smoothly and not releasing any extra gas. And for anyone using space heaters, make sure you leave plenty of space around them to prevent curtains, blankets or other items from catching fire in your home. Meteorologist Adam Bernison, WLWT News 5.